Welcome, friends, to Lucy's channel, where stories come to life. Join me as we embark on a journey through the realms of imagination and dive into a captivating narrative. I have a monster-in-law, and I don't care if she becomes homeless. I, 24F, have a wonderful boyfriend, 26M. He is one of the sweetest, most kind, and level-headed people I have ever met. He is physically disabled due to a car accident, causing him to lose partial function in his left leg. Despite this, he tries his absolute best to be a productive member of the household and pull his weight. His mother, 66F, is a nightmare. She lives with us right now, along with his grandfather, 80M, because times got really hard, and splitting the costs of things just made sense at the time. I thought it would be easier, oh how wrong I really was. She is a hoarder and cannot bring herself to not continuously buy things like canned food, magazines, clothes, and knickknacks. At first it was fine, but it has quickly grown out of control to the point where most of the cupboards, closets, shelves, and storage areas are full of expired canned food no one is allowed to touch. She has moved her PC into the dining room without consulting anyone because of how full her room is with stuff. She's also taken to sleeping on the couch, I suspect, because her bed is also covered. She is very manipulative, often sending nasty messages to him over tiny things. For example, sending things like, Are you trying to k asterisk l me over him, forgetting to put the toilet seat down? Something that can be hard for him when trying to get around with mobility assistance devices, as he can't really bend without discomfort. She freaks out when asked to not clutter walkways with items so he and his grandfather can move through the house without a fall risk. And heaven forbid you move something of hers. That is when all hell breaks loose. <laughs> she has full ability to get a job, and she used to have one when she moved in, but now she only works very part-time and forces others to pay her rent for her. Despite working as a paralegal for decades, she never saved for retirement. As she says, my children are my retirement plan. Her other child, A, 30F, is a Sam with six kids two sets of twins and two singletons, and M.I.L. refuses to live with her as A. put her foot down about the hoarding and will only let her live there if she is actively in therapy. I found out that I was pregnant a few months ago, and I finally put my foot down. I told my boyfriend that when our lease is up, Grandpa can come with us to the new place. Gramps is a sweetheart, and I have nothing bad to say about him other than he enables her behavior too much, but she is absolutely not coming with us. My boyfriend agreed, but is having an extremely hard time since she is heavily guilting him over this. She is claiming that we are making her homeless. Even though she has her sister, or A, that are perfectly willing to take her in if she gets a job with more hours and starts therapy. And I cannot bring myself to care anymore, even if she does become homeless. I don't care if this makes me a bad person. I simply don't. It was a miracle that I was able to get pregnant in the first place, as I only have one ovary, have PCOS, and I very rarely ovulate naturally. I am not willing to bring my child into the world in a house with her in it. And if that means that Emile has to live in her car in horrible conditions, I DGAF. I just really needed to get that off of my chest, as I can't really tell my BF that I don't care if his mother lives in her car. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for joining us on this incredible storytelling journey. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. We would be delighted to hear your thoughts on this story in the comments section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with us and never miss out on the magic.